Good morning. It's Wednesday, August 2nd, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Mustard Faith, and our scripture is Mark's Gospel, chapter 4. Jesus said, How can I describe the kingdom of God? What story should I use to illustrate it? It's like a mustard seed planted in the ground. It's the smallest of seeds, but becomes the largest of all garden plants. It grows long branches, and birds can make nests in its shade. Jesus used many similar stories and illustrations to teach the people as much as they could understand. In fact, in his public ministry, he never taught without using parables. But afterward, when he was alone with his disciples, he explained everything to them. As a tourist or resident walking the busy streets of New York, it isn't a complete experience unless you get a hot dog from a street vendor. And, of course, you must have mustard. (laughs) If you eat it plain, the street eats police will get you. As a former New Yorker who has eaten many of those tube steaks, I can attest to the oft-mused answer to the question about what gives those doggies their special flavor. The answer is threefold simple. Ambience of the great city, a fair amount of soot, and taxicab tailpipe exhaust in the air. With humble apologies to my New York friends and relatives, tongue in cheek, it's really de mustard. Now, it's something of a leap from street vendors selling New York hot dogs to Jesus talking about mustard in Jerusalem, but there is a connection. You do know there isn't a person in the entirety of humanity who hasn't tasted a hot dog. In the same way, everyone in the crowd to which Jesus spoke in that agrarian community knew mustard seeds as a must for the garden. The image of the tiny seed growing into a huge tree-like bush and how mustard's pungent taste can enhance many foods is common in any culture you care to name. When you bite into anything coated with mustard, you know it's there. And that may be a hint of why Jesus used such a common image to help people understand God's kingdom. The rapid growth of a tiny seed, coupled with its unmistakable presence when matured, is an appropriate characterization of what God is able to do with us. Consider the magnificent presence of Mother Teresa as tiny a human being physically as you could ever meet, and quiet enough personally that you'd never expect a mustard seed kind of effect out of that little package, but she drew the attention of the entire world to change the way children are treated. Much as a mustard plant can double as a shade tree for a hot, weary bird or two, any tiny human being, whether isolated in the mountains of Cambodia or living on the busy streets of Mumbai, India, another face in the crowd of 20 million other people, God can grow some evidence of his kingdom presence to feed a leper or put clothes on a street kid small, common seeds, big, holy results. For you today, from the antiquities of the first century church, we have what Paul told the believers at Colossae. He said, work willingly at whatever you do, as though you were working for the Lord rather than people. You may not be called to work with children like Mother Teresa or labor at a microscope to cure cancer or gear up with the astronauts to travel to distant stars. But whatever God places in your hand, your heart, or your head, he has placed it and you there to make a difference. Start as a mustard seed, grow to be a shade tree for some weary wandering bird who needs to know what it's like to come face to face with the kingdom of God. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.